Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So I'm making this video because I want to share with you something that I learned and uh, the subject is forgiveness is love and it is divine. So I'm going to share with you some points that I uh, learned that helped me to in my personal life to forgive others and to also receive the forgiveness the the full forgiveness of God. So the first point is um, forgiveness doesn't require any excuse. So what does that mean is that uh, you don't need to understand the person or to provide a reason for being forgiven. For example, like me, I used to think that for forgiving someone you have to understand like the reason why the person did what he did or she did so I could say like for example if someone told me something bad or did something bad to me I could say oh maybe he said that or she said that because he's feeling bad or maybe she is in a bad mood maybe she she doesn't she didn't receive the affection that she needs or maybe the person is not saved she's not free blah 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 but the reason the, the thing is whether there's a reason good or bad or whether there's no reason the thing is already done like you're already hurt doesn't depend i mean doesn't matter if the person was <laughs> hurt doesn't matter if the person is not saved doesn't matter if the person is saved free or not free you're hurt and you cannot um, base your forgiveness on a reason on an excuse so the second point is there is no reason good enough for hurting others that's another thing because sometimes you can think that we can justify our acts or the acts of someone else saying oh no you should forgive the person because you know he didn't do this he didn't have this in his life maybe um, the person was an orphan, he, he wasn't loved, so you cannot expect the person to give you um, affection or to be a good friend. But the reality, of course, you cannot give what you don't have. But the thing is, it's not because <laughs> you're feeling bad and it's not because you're feeling insecure or sad or void that you should take other people's peace. So if you cannot give love if you cannot give um, peace to others at least don't take their peace and if you're feeling bad instead of making the whole world feel bad with you seek help because god is there and people are there to advise you you can find help you can be healed so instead of harming others you should seek help for yourself so Yes, of course, you cannot give what you don't have, but don't take other people's peace. So that's another point. So the third point that I learned was um, when you want to forgive, you have to look beyond and, or forward and decide to move ahead. So um, I don't know how to say that, Eriko. <laughs> So if I can say that in Kinyarwanda, so you ha you have to look beyond, you have to just put it aside, just forget, just decide to move on, just decide to close that chapter and open a new one, a brand new one without the grudges of the past. And yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing, that's um, a tip for forgiving, that's a thing that will help you to forgive other people. So... Another point is um, forgiving is giving freely. So it's giving without any interest or reason, but for the sake of peace or just for loving. Or, yeah, it's all about love. So, why this point? It's because some people forgive others because they have interest in that person. Like, for example, let's say your parent, your dad, your mom, or I don't know, any other person that helps you, that is important, that is necessary to your life. Probably the person is a sponsor, he, he supports you financially for your studies, for what, but the person did wrong. So when 
you want to forgive, you don't actually forgive, but you say, you know, I'm going to tolerate this because I need the person. This is not forgiveness. It is, I don't know. I don't know how to call that tolerance, business. I don't know. But it's, it's not, it's everything but forgiveness. So when you want to forgive someone, really, you don't have to base yourself on the importance of you know the the, the interest of the that the person brings to your life or the um, yeah like the interest simply uh -huh. and another point is um about love yeah you have to forgive out of love because love covers a multitude of sins so that verse can be found in one peter for eight and uh, some people say that uh, love is blind but the reality is that love covers a multitude of sins and jesus said it that the greatest commandment the second greatest commandment is loving your neighbor as yourself and why is that it's because when you love someone when you love your neighbor you forgive him you cover his sins, you cover his mistakes, his shortcomings. And this is really important to our Christian lives because Jesus said in the prayer that he gave us that can be found in Matthew 6, uh, verse 9 to 13, our Father, um, he said uh, there's a part on the verse 12 where they say that forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who, who trespass against us. I think that's how they say that. So the reason we have to forgive others is because the way you forgive others determines the forgiveness of God in your life. Not that, I couldn't say, I can't say that God actually <laughs> holds on grudges as we do, but a thing that I learned is you feel forgiveness as much I mean, you feel forgiven as much as you forgive others. So if, like for example me, I used to give, to forgive people because I gave them reasons. I could say, this person did this because he is not saved. So when I could go to ask forgiveness to God, I could say, God, I did this because I was feeling bad. So forgive me. But this is not forgiveness at all. This is a kind of business too <laughs> yeah so uh talking about the forgiveness of god god uh forgives us um out of love so he gives us freely just as i said it before that forgiving is forgiving freely god gives us freely out of his love for us and without giving importance to the reasons that we might give so he doesn't care whether you did it intentionally or whether you did it accidentally either way you sinned so you have to repent so a verse uh, that shows that is god that shows that god gives freely is in mika or mica i don't know how they say that seven chapter seven verse 18 where they say that god delights in mercy he delights in it he likes forgiving forgiving is it's i don't know he delights in it he likes it he loves it so it doesn't matter whether you did it intentionally or whether you did it um, accidentally all in all you have to ask for forgiveness and god will forgive you because he delights in mercy and if you think that you have done so wrong that God can forgive you and you feel guilty, I am here to tell you that God will not forgive you because you have a good reason, but he will forgive you because he loves you. And the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave, you, he gave his only begotten son for whoever will believe in him may get saved and have eternal life so if you really feel like you've done wrong and you you cannot find an excuse you cannot explain what you did you feel really bad you 
don't have to provide any excuse. You don't have to justify what you did because actually giving excuses shows that you are trying to, you know, to, to I don't know, <laughs> to justify your act, to, to, to simplify the thing. But that's not true. That's totally wrong because you hurt God, you hurt someone. So whether you have a good reason, whether you don't have a good reason, you've done wrong. So it doesn't matter your excuse. Let's leave excuses aside. And when you go to God, repent truly. And the truth is, we are only justified by the blood of Christ and not by our reasons. So probably you've hurt someone because you didn't receive the love that you wanted. But that's not, that's not a reason. It won't justify you. It won't justify you if you get before God on the judgment day and God asks you, why did you do this? Oh God, I didn't receive the love that I had to receive. Maybe my dad didn't love me as much as I wanted to be loved. But that's not true because what will justify you is not the fact that you didn't receive what you had to receive, that you didn't um, like receive your rights, but it's the blood of Jesus that will justify you. So if you really feel guilty, if you really feel like you've done wrong and you're ashamed and you want to repent but you don't know how because you feel like God cannot forgive you the Bible says that he is faithful to forgive if we confess our sins so confess your sins to God and he will forgive you out of his love because he loves you and he wants the best for you so I hope this video blessed you it's um yeah God bless you and have a good day